Hello students, Katie Winkler here. I'm your instructor for this British Literature 1 course that's online. Um, I just wanted to give a short screencast to give you an idea of what the course is going to be like. Uh, if you go to the course homepage, it looks like this. The course announcements are always here. They also go to your webmail address. Uh, but you might want to take a look. Be sure you keep up with any announcements. Um, the student question and discussion forum, if you have questions uh, that are generic for the course, you can always message me online as well um, or send me an email or give me a call or come by and see me, any of those things. If you're watching this welcome video now. Uh, you want to be sure you read the syllabus. It has all the information about the course, uh, your responsibilities, and my responsibilities, course schedule, that kind of thing. Um, this is real important information. The travel project is not due until uh, December, and that seems like a long way away, but it is a big project and worth 20% of your grade, so you don't want to put it off. Uh, this folder has all the information, but you always feel free to contact me and ask questions if you have any. The sooner, the better. Uh, give you an idea. Oh, the getting started is the next thing that you want to do. Notice how I'm moving from course home to getting started, and then I'm going to go to module one. That's the way you want to do the course. I would say avoid the course dashboard and go straight to the course home and then getting started do those assignments then move on to the next that's the best way to be successful these two assignments are due very soon however if you miss the due date which is august 20th then you can contact me and i'll open it up but you have to do these two before friday august the 27th so get on those right away and let me know if you have any questions about those. If you've already done the solo, all you have to do is upload your badge. If you haven't done the online orientation, the solo um, orientation, then you will need to do that. Module 1 is our introduction to the course and Old English Religious Text. This shows you what a module looks like. There'll be a one about one every week. Notice that the due dates are spread out. Unlike some courses, I don't have just one due date a week. I spread them out to help you with time management. Um, I've taught this course many times, and so I have an idea of uh, what is best for the due dates, and uh, it really seems to help students to spread them out. If you want to do your work all on one day, just do it on the first due date for the week um, and get all your work done then if you want to. But uh, keeping up with the due dates and not waiting to the last minute is the best way to be successful in any course, but especially an online course that involves a lot of reading and writing like this course. Um, notice that I only have the first six modules open. Uh, there are 16 modules, uh, one air each week, uh, pretty much. Um, and I only keep the ones open to the first exam, and then I'll open up the next unit to the second exam. We have three exams in the course total. Then we'll take a quick look at the course dashboard, but again, I recommend that you use the uh, menu on the left to guide you rather than going to the course dashboard except to check your grade book. Um, that is an, an important thing to do here at the course dashboard. Keep up with your grade book. You can see the assignments. If I haven't graded it, there's a little dash there. If I have graded it, uh, it'll have that grade out of 100. 
they're not all worth the same, of course. Uh, your breakdown is different. Assignments are worth 25%. Discussion forums worth 25%. Exams are worth 30% altogether. Three exams, 10% apiece. And the project is worth 20%. Um, but uh, this will give you an idea of what you're missing, what I've graded. I asked my students to give me about a week uh, to get things graded. If you see a zero there, that means I did not uh, uh, get that assignment. So you will want to click on a zero and see and complete that assignment. I do take late work. It does take a penalty and I won't take it after a month. If it gets really long time before you've turned the work in, it's not going to help you with the uh, learning for the exam anyway. Uh, but I will take it up to a month late. That's your grade book. Let's go back here. I wanted to show you when you do an assignment. Click on this assignment. Sometimes I tell you if it's a time-consuming assignment or not. If you scroll down to the bottom, then you see my grading criteria. I use checklists like this a lot. I also use grading rubrics, which you're probably familiar with. Um, and you can get an idea of what I'm going to be uh, grading by looking at that. One other thing I want to show you before we go. back again on that course dashboard is the open grader. The discussion forums do not show the rubric at the bottom of the assignment. So you, you have to go to the open grader and there you can view the checklist or the grade book to see um, what was completed for that assignment. If you don't understand the checklist or the, the rubric, then just let me know. Oftentimes, I also put comments. Um, not always, because I have a lot of students this semester, but I try as often as possible to put comments here or to put comments um, on the, uh, the grading rubric or the checklist if, uh, if I have the time. Anyway, I hope that this helps orient you to the course and what it's going to be like. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask me. I'm uh, readily available at the times listed in my syllabus. Um, I like to talk to my students. I like my students. I enjoy getting together with them and talking with them on the phone or, or in person. Uh, so just give me a call or text, message me or email me, and I'll be glad to answer your questions, and I'll be seeing you later. Ta-ta for now.